Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to Paraquet. Last time, you know, we were talking with Reno Chan at the flower shop, and I'm like, huh, I need a job. And the boss lady was like, Job, you say? I got a job for you. Here, here, take a job. <laughs> yeah, we got a job at the store. And then, you know, me and Reno were just talking the house, drinking, eating some bonbons. And she was telling me how she likes some, you know, Subasa san. And her life wasn't really that good before her. And then, you know, we got a flashback to my life. Then um, the cops raided the Dream Dive. And I think that's about it. It's a brand new day. We're here at our new job. So let us continue. So, roses sell well? I think they're the best sellers. Pretty cliche, huh? We have many customers that want to get a gift. And roses are the perfect thing to please someone. Most people, you say. So, it isn't actually the case? Well, it all really depends on the person. Some people get creeped out when someone suddenly pulls out a bouquet of roses. And if you're allergic, last thing you want to see is flowers. Pollen allergy. That does sound really bad. And not many people have vases for flowers, so they just sit there waiting to wilt even if you take them home. This doesn't apply to just roses, though. You need to be mindful and think of the other person's circumstances when you give them a gift, don't you think? You know what I used to do? With my ex when I was in middle school. There's this flower shop <laughs> right next to our middle school. And, like, they'll sell, like, actual flowers and, like, these, um, paper ones. Like, they made these flowers out of paper and I would buy them for her. Because, one, I, I bet you it's not gonna be destroyed right away. And, two, it's like, you know, it's better than a rose. You never know. You know what I mean? So, if you want to buy someone a gift, buy them, like, a paper flower or a plastic whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not as good as the original, but it's something, you know? Present giving sounds complicated. It takes time to prefer, prepare an order, so we want the person receiving it to be happy. It's been a few days since I started working part-time at the flower shop. I've learned so many new things. First of all, how to deal with rose thorns. You leave some leaves to prevent the evaporation of water, then remove them after. After that comes preserving them. You need to cut the stem at a slanted angle, then soak them in water for several hours, and then cut the stem again before using it for decorating. The tasks themselves are not particularly difficult, but they're not brainless either. Identifying what you need to do for each one and doing it actually in a minute's work. It, it's, <laughs> it actually is minute work. Welcome back. Yes, hello. There's trouble. There's police. Is this store doing anything illegal? <laughs> it's like a front. They're selling cocaine in the basement. Beats me. If it is, I'm sure as hell not seeing any of the money. I'm not going to dock your pay. I'm going to dock your pay if you keep that up. It's not us. It's a dream dive. There's police in there. Oh, the place where they make they make girls look like celebrities? Yeah, them! If there's police stooping in there, they have they have to have actually done something. I just knew that place was up to no good. That was fast. Perhaps a little too fast. It's only been a few days since I testified to them. I thought they spent more time gathering solid evidence. Maybe there's something bigger than just them just ripping people off. Maybe they have their eyes on them for longer than I thought. Oh, a customer! Welcome! <laughs> I'm not gonna mention, you know, the police no more. <laughs> <laughs> they must have their reasons, but I didn't expect the police to move so fast. If I had to start snooping around that place, I might have been put on a police watch list. Hindsight is 2020, but... It looks like keeping my distance was the right choice. I had better focus on work. 
I won't bother trying to figure out what, what force the police had. There's no reason for me to know, and it doesn't concern me. Okay, that was fast. I, I should have li literally just finished the last episode. And that was gonna be longer because you barely, you know, we were barely in that chapter or like, you know, chapter two, whatever, four. Like, it, it was barely anything. I, I thought, okay, it was my fault, okay? Okay. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're back again, eh? Sorry for taking up space day after day. Order something and I won't complain. <clears> Han, <throat> he needs a better voice. Mm. <laughs> and you're actually right on time. You got a visitor. For me? Is it someone you met while I was asleep? This Raina, Raina could know them? Just to be safe, do you think I should hide from them? I don't know who they are, honestly. My pool of acquaintances is small. It's only really Kido-san, Ikabari-san, and maybe Kumado-san. <laughs> but she doesn't know that I frequent this cafe. Um, do you know who they are? <laughs> Take a look! <laughs> Take a look yourself! They're sitting at the same spot as just last time! He points behind him with his thumb. I look at the table and see someone I wasn't expecting. <sighs> I got a request for you. As I sit down, Aku-san bows his head. Um, I don't understand. Sorry for the unannounced visit. That's fine. So anyway, did something happen? I heard rumors about the police showing up at the dream dive yesterday. What? Really? Did something go wrong? Well... It's difficult to explain. Were I, were I suspicious of? <sighs> I'll swallow my pride and be honest with you, kid. We searched the dream dive last night. And we were able to confirm that the customers who were asking for sodas were being given hard liquor. So we were correct. Kind of. What do you mean? Analyzing the BMI system takes a lot, lot of time. We're looking into the evidence, but it's a really sp rare system. Um, Tapara, our staff is studying up on all, all thing, all this. It's only natural that it will take them time to figure out something like cutting edge BMI systems. We're aware that our kissing assistance from outside elements is not the norm, but. This situation is a little beyond our scope right now. That's why we're requesting your assistance. You want me? If you're involved in BMI development, couldn't you an analyze what we got? Well... I probably could. I have the necessary knowledge on top of all the experience I acquired at Ibuki. I understand your situation, but I'm not a law enforcer. We're not gonna go off and on just whatever you say, so don't worry. We just, uh, want some kind of a guidelines is all. Guideline? So let's just say they pass alcohol to their clients, making them think it was soda. Assuming that's correct, we can't just wait for the analysis to corroborate that. But if we don't find quite what we're expecting, we need to gather evidence accordingly. What I want is the basis to make that decision. I see. I'm not asking for your evidence or testimony. Think of it as cooperating with the police, but cooperating with me. That in that case, I might be able to help. If that's anything I can, if there's anything I can do, I want to help. Also, hmm, what is it? It's nothing. I can help Kido San as well. All right, I'll cooperate. We really appreciate it. Really? You're a lifesaver. But I have one request. Can't she be with me? Huh? Me? It'll be good for me to have some help. Plus, can you help? Please, can you help? Mm. Uh, oh, that's what you mean. 
I see the gears turning in her head until she realized my intentions. She straightens her back and in a stiff, polite gesture. Please let me help. All right, two brains are better than one. You can help too. But, but don't you have your part-time shift? I'll discuss it with my boss. Wait one second. <laughs> After getting permission from her boss, we head to the police station. Sorry for making you walk all the way here. Just help us out. It's easier for us this way. Again, we're really sorry for all of this. Oh, don't worry about that. No one can overlook crime. Well... I'm not gonna comment. I'm not gonna comment right now. Cause like I live, I live in East Coast, man. We overlook club crime all the time. Like me. Um, what is a crime that will not get me in trouble? Oh, assault. I I I witnessed a guy punching another dude, and I just walked. You know I mean like like they punched, and I just like went around them and just continue walking. <laughs> I'm like I'm not dealing with that. That's a good attitude to have. Thanks. I must say, though, you really work fast. I thought it would take you a little more time for the police to make their move. Huh? Well, um, I don't think we can tell you the details on that. I mean, it's not like we were told anything or either. BMI is actually part of everyday life for many. Someday it will become a necessity. Even as we speak, new research is being conducted and new uses for it are being found. If there is a fatal design flaw in BMI, it would mean a world of trouble. And I suppose a lot of people wouldn't like that. If BMI is found to be dangerous, it affects the bottom line of many companies. And I can see the aftermath of such a thing affecting the political and business spectrum heavily. Well, yeah. You know, businesses will be shut down. People are out of work. The politicians are going to be like, fuck, I need to do something else. You know, people are not going to vote for me. Shit. People are calling every day for me to do something. Fuck. <laughs> so there must be pressure to resolve this as quickly as possible. Maybe that's why an anti-BMI crime division was created. I'm on the same mind. I'm over the same mind, however. Solving this as quickly as possible would be for the best. So, you see anything? It passes me a memory cube. This is the only storage me- Eh. This is the only storage medium that's compatible when using BMI. It's used to store movies, video files, or even game programs. Its usage extends far beyond memory grafting. The same is true in this case. There's data that controls the signal to be sent through BMI stored in here. I can roughly grasp the nature of the system. I didn't build it, so I can't understand how it works completely at a glance. But after a thorough examination, I understand. It doesn't seem like some kind of new technology that will revolutionize our understanding of BMI after all. I think it's as we predicted. What do you think? Replacing the perception of their staff with virtual avatars. And about the alcohol thing. As so far as I can see, the only thing they seem to be tampering with is the visual to reflect people as avatars. But there are other parts that affect other sensory organs, like taste and smell. And smell looks like. What does that mean? So it would look the so it would look the same. But the taste of the alcohol is probably different. You could probably serve someone tr transparent sake in cold water. So a side effect of the original function, not a secondary effect. Would that be a correct interpretation? I'm almost completely certain that it wasn't intentionally incorporated into this. It also seems that the type of alcohol is affected, effects are limited. And the taste and smell replicates function don't seem to be interfering with the visual tampering. Hmm. So there will be no re problem if you just put it on, <laughs> just put it in it on normally, right? 
In that case, it could be possible to create a ver version that only uses that <laughs> that visual replacement function. Oh, that's it. If you don't mind modifying it, it will be useful if you can make it as as reference material. Wait a second. We need a new memory cube for that. That much is a copy, but we can't overwrite it. Just make sure, just, just to make sure, would there be any problem if we tried using BMI? It doesn't seem practically dangerous. Hmm, well, I suppose it can. Thank you. I heave a sigh of relief hearing the light tone of his approval. I was honestly worried about them noticing my real intentions with this. Sorry, I'm really not trying to abuse your trust here. I apologize internally and hand Kido-san the memory cube. Kido-san? Okay. He puts it around her neck and lets the data flow in. She instantly instantly she freezes in place. I see all those zeros and ones in her eyes. <laughs> oh, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. <laughs> he doesn't seem to be she doesn't seem to be deep in thought. It's as her brain froze and her eyes are staring into space. If they really use her research, should, she should be able to regain some memories. <laughs> to my absolute surprise, a smile touches through her lips, followed by a light chuckle. Kido-san, you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Did something happen? No, not really. It was just funny hearing a thick man's voice coming from him when he looks like an idol girl. Don't spook us like that. Sorry, I'll take this seriously. You guys really did us a solid here. We use this for our internal analysis. Thank you for all the help. Don't worry, <laughs> we're happy to. Now, if you excuse us, we'll be heading out. Again, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Aiko-san and Rokumo-san, <laughs> Roku, Rokumi-san, then leaves. The data was related to you, wasn't it? That smile didn't seem like a simple amusement from the BMI effect. You noticed? Well, I just remembered a silly story about myself that made me giggle a bit. I was doing research on taste replacements, you see. Oh. So it's like the technology needed to com com uh, compensate for the senses when you graph BMI prosthetics. By the way, what was this, that silly story? So you know how I only eat bland food for sick people back then. I got really tired of it one day. I was super stressed and I was dying to eat something with actual flavor. I can see that. And it's especially amazing since you actually accomplished your goal. Take that as praise. I'll take that the praise. Eh, uh, sorry. So, you had fun eating after that? Oh, yeah. In the beginning, at least. What do you mean? The more I experienced different flavors, the stronger my desire for real food guy. I wanted to eat the real thing, real taste cut with my tongue. But doing that would just worsen my condition. Is it messed up that, like, I would still eat it. Well, then again, like, I experienced real food. It wasn't like her where she ate nothing but bland and it was like, Ah, if all that could, right? Like, with me, like, I actually had real food. So, like, if someone told me right now, like, you can only eat bland food, I'd be like, um, you know what? For the first time, I'm going to use my right as an American and refuse you, eat real food, and die <laughs> for freedom. For America. <laughs> for, for America. <laughs> Seriously, man. I, I, I'm i sorry. Like, you're not going to have me eat bland food. It needs some flavor or else we're going to throw some hands. How that stress and all that worrying. And then I thought, hey, anyway, so much for that. The death jokes really aren't funny, just so you know. Such a tough crowd. Anyway, this kind of thing comes in handy when talking, taking medicine and stuff. 
That seems like a good use for it. If only the business trying to use it. <laughs> if only the business trying to use it though, of it, of thought of it the same way. Yeah, it's a shame, dude. You know what I just thought? Imagine instead of alcohol, right? A BMI, but like a like a maid cafe. They could really make shitty food, but alter the taste of it. Y you get what I mean? Like, the food is crap, but to you, you can't taste it. It would be a good experience than like, you know, getting someone drunk. I don't know. I express my agreement. Then Kido-san skips ahead and stands in front of me. After turning on her heels, she looks at me. Thanks, Ibuki Kim. I got back some of my memories thanks to you. You don't need to thank me. It just happened this way. And unfortunately, it wasn't the memory you've been looking for. Yeah, there are certain memories I want to get back. But that doesn't mean my other memories aren't as important as well. Every single one of them is a precious part of my life. She smiles gently at me. So thank you. Her smile is positive, positively beaming. Ah! <laughs> I just looked up for a second. Oh my god, so adorable. <laughs> The bright, warm smile of hers fully conveys those feelings those feelings of gratitude. The moment I see that smile, my chest warms up. So far, I've done the work I needed to do. I think this is the first time I face someone pure-hearted and more emotions directly like this. I'm filled with what I think is a sense of fulfillment. I must say, both I Ibaraki-san and Kiro-san Look so pretty when they smile. I want them to smile. I want them to be able to be happy. My heart is filled with an ironclad resolve. Hello, are you there? Uh, sorry. Did you listen to what I said? I did, yeah. I know how you feel now. Good. Okay, let's go back to the cafe. You might be having trouble managing all that business by himself. Not to mention a little upset. I mean, for not being around. I'll apologize with you if that's the case. If there's too much work to do, I can even help. <laughs> Thank you so kindly. Being honest, though, I thought the cafe is crowded at all. Oh, right. The food is amazing, but the owner is really holding it back. Is it really just because of his face? Currently, but he wants a sort of relaxed laid back establishment. He keeps going on about he how he's been <laughs> how he has to compromise it if it gets too busy. In that case, let's make up for it by being by con contributing to the sales. Maybe he won't get mad that he won't get mad that way, I guess. Well, we'll see when we get there. Yeah. But before that, let me say it one more time. Thank you so much, Ibuki Ken. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind. She looks very pretty when she smiles. <clears throat> Hello there, Kiro-san! Oh! Hashimi! Hashimi! <laughs> Hashimi-san! Ah! And you are Ibuki-kun, right? Yes! Hello to you as well! Ah! Uh, what are you guys doing over here? Let me guess, a date? No? Ah, oh, really? Really? We're not doing nothing of the sort. Well, that's a letdown. You're actually pretty sappy. Sappy, huh? I wouldn't say that if I had anything to do with it. You just been the biggest smile. You just had the biggest smile on your face when you walked in. You never smile like that when you're working. I'm not trying to tease you for it. For the fun of it, I promise. Mm. No, really, it's just that, well, I mean, you're young and cute, so it's a shame to me you're not making the most of it. You know, it's the springtime of life. You should, you should live it up. But <laughs> my time as adolescent has already passed, sadly. Well, that's a punch to a... Uh, uh, well, that's a good punch. You're already... If you're already old, then what am I? No, I wasn't playing that. 
if she was talking t to me alone, I can imagine what she'd say. I mean, I'm literally dead. I can just hear her in my mind. Are you going back to your workshop? That's the plan, but I could go for a cup of coffee before I go go <laughs> before going back home. Mind if I join you too? Go right ahead. We sit next to each other at the counter and have tea together. Hashihime-san is thoroughly enjoying her coffee. Ah, nothing hits like a cup of... like the coffee you make, boss. You can handle the bitterness? Oh, do you not like coffee, Ibuki-kun? I tried it... I tried it once, but it was too bitter for me. When a good person brews with good beans, you can taste something other than the bitterness. But it's still there, though. I figured. It's fine. We all have the things that we don't like. No need to force yourself. Good. No need to force yourself, okay? So if your friend doesn't like anything, don't force them. Don't do it. Don't do it. Man, I'm having flashbacks. Like, I didn't like something. My friends are like, come on, try it. Try hot Cheetos. Like, I was the only Hispanic kid who didn't like hot Cheetos. Like, Takis are okay, but like, Hot Cheetos, I don't like Hot Cheetos at all. And they would not let it down. They won't. I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. I just don't like it. Don't judge me. You're probably get in the comments like, Oh, you don't like Hot Cheetos? Oh my god. It's like, shut up. Shut up. I don't. I don't want to hear it at all. You never know what life has in store for you. Don't waste it doing things you don't want to. Her tone is bright, but she doesn't seem to be joking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit philosophical now, aren't I? Oh, that's fine. It just caught me off guard. But I do really believe it's important to have fun while we can. If you know you're down in the dumps, and you don't try doing anything to lift yourself up, you'll just keep singing, right? I was like that after I had my accident. What pulled me out of that hole were the people around me. Seeing everyone around me smile and living was what saved me. Seeing their faces lifted me and made me feel like life was worth living, I suppose. I know what you mean. I felt something similar to to that watching Kido-san smile. I feel like Kido-san smashing her emotions though. It's kind of sad. So, I'm really hoping she can smile with all of her heart someday. It'll be a sight to see. I just know it. Yeah, so do I. I want to see that beautiful smile again. Ah, homeboy's, homeboy's feeling love. Ah, he's getting the love bug. Ah. I keep drinking my tea. Rem rem ruminating on Hashihime's son's words. <laughs> Paraque! Paraque! Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Okay, you promised that you won't do it for an hour! Yes, but let me tell you why. Where, where's the stupid flow chart? This is what we were doing. We were at 205 and now we're in 3. And I bet you it's gonna be longer. It's not gonna be like <laughs> the beginning of this video. With um, the stupid little like of um, you know root of um, Reno, I promised this will be an hour next one. Look at me, look at me. I promise. I promise. Uh, I promise. Hmm, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I need to be using these more. There's only one that, like, I regret this one. Like, when am I ever going to get this? Like, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, so that is about it. So we are going to go. That's about it. And we are going to go. We're going to end it here. And I will see you tomorrow.
I'll see you tomorrow. Manana. See. See. And also, um, I didn't stream yesterday. So, you know, come see me stream today. <laughs> come see me stream. I'll be streaming, um, me learning Spanish. Like, link down below. <laughs> I'm gonna be learning Spanish. Yeah, you're Hispanic and you don't know Spanish? No, I don't know Spanish, okay? So stop it. I know it. Stop. Alrighty. So, this is Gat saying farewell. Well, like, like the video, comment, and hit the subscribe button. You know, 80% of you are not subscribed. Like, come on, subscribe. Do it now. Do it. I'm watching you. Do it. <laughs> and after that, hit the bell notification to see whenever I post. Alrighty. My beautiful, beautiful people. Well, this is Gatsin. Farewell. And as always. 